we were very aware of the neighbors' concerns uh, with the noise. Originally, this was supposed to be a horseshoe-shaped range with no berm on the back, 10-foot walls on the side, and a 20-foot wall uh, on the shooting surface. We uh, ended up doing 20 feet all the way around. Uh, when we went back and looked at it through sound studies and, and using our, some help from our engineers, they thought that that would be the best as far as uh, sound mitigation and, uh, and preventing any stray rounds. Uh, the advantage we have too here, you know, when you look at the site, in addition to having the 20-foot berm behind our shooting surface, uh, there's a pretty extensive uh, system of uh, hill and uh, and trees back there that uh, should around actually get above that 20-foot berm. Uh, there's a pretty good chance it's going to get caught by something up there and, and knocked down. The entire range cost a little over a million dollars but we had an agreement with the Board of Supervisors that that money would essentially be refunded uh, through forfeiture funds. The Sheriff's Office would get the equivalent amount back from forfeiture that was expended by the county for the range. Uh, currently we're using that to fund our, our take home squad car program. Um, we've, already, we've already gotten back oh, I think uh, just short of $540,000 out of the forfeiture fund um, for that, you know, which we still have a ways to go, but the, the advantage is it, it's, it helps kind of keep some of the taxpayer burden down when it comes to uh, sending our guys to training and, and, and things like that or, or buying equipment because a lot of equipment and training can be paid for through forfeiture. So um, it, it really kind of helps, helps us keep our budget under control.